What's going on everybody? It's the Bull Show, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, just because the NBA draft has come to an end does not mean that the business for the Chicago Bulls has come to an end, as we've now signed a two-way player for the Chicago Bulls. There is someone on this team, as of now, that is on a two-way contract. He did go undrafted, ladies and gentlemen, and his name is Justin Lewis. He played for Marquette. I'm sure all of us know exactly what Marquette is. Obviously, Jimmy Butler was from there as well so you can't make the same comparisons obviously they're two different players two players that could have very different careers of course but very intriguing player someone i think could be very good for the chicago bulls i wouldn't necessarily put him in the conversation as a starter or even as a bench player at this point in time but a player that has good stats obviously is on a two-way contract didn't really go to the summer league and get a workout there straight as a two-way contract player and i feel like our and eversley and the bulls front office has done a lot of these stuff done a lot of these interviews and a lot of these workouts with undrafted players or players that are going expect us to go in the second round to potentially go undrafted to find certain players that they like and if they did end up I guess pursuing them, if they did end up liking them and there was a chance that they went undrafted, the Bulls would swipe at the opportunity and it looks like that's what's ended up happening here. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to The Bull Show. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below your thoughts about Justin Lewis at the NBA level. Is there a high possibility that he gets opportunities on this team? Ultimately, he's going to spend most of his time in the G League, most likely. Just what do you think his future will be? Now, obviously, he's a six foot seven forward, um, very similar to the first player that we ended up drafting in the first round in Dale and Terry. And he is a little bit of a bulkier type of player. Um, Again, I think he's 235 pounds according to what I have on my screen here, ladies and gentlemen. So much, much stronger, much bigger than the than um, Dale and Terry. But very, very interesting player nonetheless. Obviously, one went in the first round, one went undrafted. And his stats are actually quite, uh, quietly better as well. Ultimately, stats are not everything, especially at the college level and all of that. But... Definitely something to look into. Played 32 games for Marquette, ladies and gentlemen, and his season average was 16.8 points per game, 7.9 rebounds per game, 1.7 assists per game, shooting 44% from the field and 35% from the three-point line. Now, those stats do look pretty good, ladies and gentlemen, but as I just mentioned before, stats are not necessarily everything. There's clearly a reason why this type of player ended up going undrafted, but there's also a reason why the Bulls front office decided to go straight to the two-way contract instead of giving him a chance in the summer league. Right now, you're seeing a bunch of teams, especially the Lakers, what I've seen on Twitter, constantly go about the summer league now, signing players for the summer league. This guy's going in our summer league team, and this guy's going in the summer league team. But the Bulls skipped right over the summer league and gave this guy a two-way contract. I think that tells all into, into what they truly think about um, Justin Lewis here. Now, I've, heard, I've seen a couple of good things, but obviously highlights cannot really define everything. I can't say I know a whole lot about this player. So if there's anyone that actually does know a little bit more than what I would about this player, feel free to let me know in the comments below. He does have, in my opinion, upside on both offense and defense. Again, I think he's a guy that is very physical. He likes to play a physical game. He's very explosive and athletic. I wouldn't necessarily call him the quickest person out there, but... Again, with his size and his frame, he could definitely play a physical game. I don't necessarily see him guarding guards out there. Uh, I see him probably trying to guard maybe a, a smaller type of power forward or a small forward type position. Uh, maybe he can develop into a very good defensive player even on those guards. I feel like he can switch. It's just that I wouldn't necessarily put him on a guard from the very beginning. I also feel like offensively that it could be a little bit more to his game as well. Physicality is something that would scream out to me as could, as could be very valuable. He'd be able to finish around the rim with his physicality. He shot 35% from the three-point line. Look, I'm listing a lot of positives because to be honest, in terms of the negative side of the ball, I don't know too much about him. But there's clearly a reason that he went undrafted and almost every single other team did not pick him up. We did a very similar thing with Devon Dotson, ladies and gentlemen, where we picked him up from the very, I guess... From as soon as the draft ended, we picked up Devon Dotson because I guess the Bulls felt like it was a complete shock that he didn't draft he didn't get drafted. And ultimately that one didn't work out for us, but that doesn't mean this one won't work out work work out for us as well. And I've got to say, with all this being said, it's a two-way contract. It's not a, a permanent contract spot. 
This is a spot that was designed, I guess, for a player that they believe has potential and is willing to work on getting that potential out of them. So I am looking forward to uh, Justin Lewis on this team. I still think he can play in the Summer League. Correct me if I'm wrong. I still believe he can play in the Summer League now that he's on a two-way contract. But again, I think it tells a lot that the front office went straight to the two-way contract instead of going into the summer league and giving him a chance or anything like that. They clearly felt value in this player. And maybe there is another hidden gem there that the Bulls have seen that other people simply have not. And hopefully we're looking at the same place in terms of the uh, the first round pick that we ended up getting as well in Dale and Terry. Hopefully both these players are considered hidden gem type players that many people might not necessarily see what they're all about, but they can show it on a nightly basis that they deserve to be where they are. They deserve to be on this team and they are hidden gem players i hope that's going to be the outcome obviously we won't know for sure i will make videos about both dale and terry and justin lewis in future videos in future over the coming days talking about what it means for the chicago bulls because there is a lot of implications behind especially uh dale and terry but even justin lewis as well could mean a lot to the chicago bulls team in the long term with all that being said, I'm not going to waste too much time. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, ladies and gentlemen. If there is any more news to come out, I'll be sure to keep you updated on that situation. Have a wonderful and safe day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Stay tuned for more. Take care and peace.